I'm going to continue with chapter five. And what I'm getting ready to show you basically is what we call dual nature of merchandise transactions. So what's going to happen is I'm going to show you one transaction. I'm going to show you what's happening on the buyer's books and the seller's books. So you can see both of them. You actually have a homework problem that's going to show this to you. So I want to go over it because it's just the same transaction but happening on different books. So here we go. Okay, so the first transaction, July 1st, the seller sells merchandise on account to Burton, the buyer, for 7,500 terms, FOB shipping point. Terms are net 45. So there is no discount here. So I just want you to know, if you're the seller, here's what's on your books. As a seller, you're going to have a transaction number one for the sale, transaction number two to reduce the inventory. Over here on the buyer's books, you're only going to have the one transaction, okay? So this is the one transaction, what's happening on the seller, what's happening on the buyer. Now we get down here to freight. First of all, it was FOB shipping point. That means the buyer is responsible for the freight. So the seller will not have a transaction for this, but here's what the buyer will do on their books, okay? And so down here, we have seller with FOB destination, which means they're responsible for freight. Again, there are no terms. So here's journal entry number one. Here's journal entry number two. To recognize the sale, reduce the inventory. And here's what the buyer's book looks like. And because it was FOB destination, there is no journal, there is no freight transaction here, but there is here. And look, it's called delivery expense. Because when the FOB is destination and the seller pays it, which they always will, it will always be an expense. I'm paying the freight out to you as a convenience to you. Okay. So up here, when I paid the freight, the freight ended up being into the cost of inventory. So freight in, and this would be considered freight in up here. So freight in, even though the buyer paid, is part of the cost of the goods sold. So let me give you an example on the next page. This one I really want you to take a look at. Um, let's do this one right here. Seller sold merchandise on account to Burton, $12,000 terms FOB shipping point. That tells you who's responsible for freight. 2% 10 net EOM. EOM stands for the end of the month. So, and, and then the seller prepaid freight of $500 and the cost of good was $7,200. So right here is the transaction. The $12,000 is discounted by the 2%. So there's transaction number one. Transaction number two is for the cost of the goods. I still have to do that. And then here's the $500 that they're going to owe me for freight. So bottom line, they're responsible for freight, but I paid it as a seller. I paid it and I added to the invoice. So you can see over here, on the buyer's books, they owe me $12,260, okay? So that's just showing you an example. So I want you to take a look at this slide. You will have a homework problem that will have you doing both sides of the books. So remember that based upon freight, some transactions will be on one side, but not the other. We're gonna move next. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna to go to what we call the chart of accounts for merchandising business. So it's gonna look a little different. Here's my chart of accounts. It, all the highlighted ones are the new accounts. The, the most important ones, of course, is inventory, sales, cost of goods sold, and delivery expense. These are the things you're actually going to be using the most. Okay, so I have new accounts now. In real life, guys, you normally have all your accounts set up. If they're not set up, you would be the one responsible for setting them up. So next up is trade discounts. Now trade discounts is totally different than customer discounts. So think of it like this. A trade discount happens before the sale. A sales discount or customer discount happens after the sale. You already know what this means. You buy anything online and they tell you it's 50% off a list. That is a trade discount. You haven't placed an order yet but they're discounting it before you even place the order. So a trade discount is before the sale. A customer discount or sales discount is after the sale. 
Let me show you an example of this. Um, the item has a list price of $1,000 and they're offering me a 40% trade discount. So I actually buy it at $600. Now, if it was going to have a 2% 10 net 30 uh, discount assigned to it, instead of the 600, I'd actually be paying 98% uh, of the whole value because 98% plus 2% equal 100%. Okay. I'm going to move on. Uh, you know, actually, I'm going to stop here because the next part of chapter five is called the income statement. And I want to talk about that in detail. So this is going to be the end of this information and we're moving to a new video.